the year 2018, the Houston Astros versus the New York Yankees for a one-game playoff. The game nobody saw coming. Thank you, John Connor, for going into the future and seeing what's going to happen come October. New York Yankees fans, like always, this is Felix from NYNews.com, or like almost us. New York Yankees fans, how do you like the sound of facing Verlander for a one-game playoff? How do you like the sound of facing Garrett Cole for a one-game playoff? Well, that's about to happen because the Oakland Athletics are really one of the hottest teams in baseball, and they are about to overtake the Houston Astros for that number one spot over there in the AL West. It's not going to be like 2015 where the Astros were one of those teams on the come up. They were very similar to, let's say, the Kansas City Royals when they were going to the playoffs. Not those years, not the year that they won the World Series, but kind of similar. They had Keiko face the Yankees. Well, fast forward to 2018, <laughs> the Houston Astros really have a ball club. The Houston Astros could literally throw any ace they want at you. For a one game playoff so if you're the yankees what sounds better trying to win the al east trying to see if the red sox implode or facing the houston astros for a one game playoff and it's not a guarantee that the yankees are going to have a better record than the houston astros who knows if the yankees will have to play that game in houston and yes, I'm going to sound like a hater right now. I think the Houston Astros steal signs at home. They did that constantly last year, last season. So if you're the Yankees and you're playing over there in Houston, I mean, get ready to lose because the Houston Astros are going to pull out all the stops to beat the New York Yankees, obviously. So again, folks, my position is I don't care about no stupid luxury tax. If the Yankees obtain a player via waiver wire, they're not going to pay the full salary. The Yankees have a whole bunch of farm system hands that they could trade for, that any team would take and would eat up the player's contract that they are trading. Not to say that the Yankees are trading a top prospect. They have plenty of arms in their farm system where it could be intriguing for another team. So yes, let's say the Yankees are a wild core team. Let's say they have to face the Houston Astros. In my opinion, the Yankees should go out there, and if an ace is available, you tr at least try to get them. At least try. Because if you do that, it's a big splash. Either way, you're going to put pressure on the Red Sox and you're going to be ready to face either the Oakland A's who are on fire, who are giving the defending World Series champions a run for their money, literally. So, like I said, stop talking about this luxury tax thing, luxury tax this and that. We all know if the Yankees present a great deal to another team, that other team is going to eat up the contract this year for that player. It's just bound to happen. The Yankees are really in big trouble if they are facing the Houston Astros for a one-game playoff. So, if that's the case, the Yankees are looking like a wild-card team. Not to say that they are bad. Like I said in my previous video, I think the league is just weak, and the Red Sox and the Yankees are taking advantage of that. So, knowing that the Yankees possibly are going to be a wild-card team, stock up now. Get what you have to get to compete with the Houston Astros and the Boston Red Sox. That's the mentality that the Yankees need to have. Forget about the A's at this point. Put your mind to who you have to beat first. Who are the best teams in the AL? Sure, the A's are playing better than the Astros right now, but we all know once it's crunch time, the Astros are going to show up. And oh yeah. Don't get triggered by this word or this name. A lot of people get catch feelings when I say this. The Nationals, they lost again. The Nationals are about to pull the plug soon. The Nationals are going to dump players that are going to help teams in contention. So I'll be shocked if the Yankees 
do not get at least one player from the Nationals. So, Yankees fans, like always, leave your opinions in the comment section below. What do you think about a one-game playoff versus the Houston Astros? What do you think about that? Leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time.